is the world's most dangerous volcano on the brink of eruption due to imminent supervolcano threats? Yellowstone National Park officials have issued an unprecedented evacuation order, raising global concern. Recent spikes in seismic activity and geothermal changes have scientists and emergency teams on high alert. What could the potential consequences be? Join us as we explore the science behind the situation and the global impact of a possible Yellowstone eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano is showing signs of activity, with several alarming incidents in recent weeks underscoring the need for evacuation. Scientists and officials are increasingly worried by the rising seismic activity and significant geothermal changes, leading to the decision to evacuate. While Yellowstone has always been a center of seismic activity, there's been a noticeable increase in volcanic disturbances lately. Uplift, where parts of Yellowstone's ground are rising due to pressure from magma and gases, has caused some areas to rise by up to six inches in just three weeks, a troubling sign of a potential eruption. The park's famous geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles have also shown changes in response to the seismic activity. Normally predictable geysers have become erratic, with some erupting more frequently and powerfully. Steamboat Geyser, known for its occasional powerful eruptions, has been erupting more often, reaching heights of up to 300 feet. The changes indicate heightened underground heat activity. Normally stable hot springs have shown temperature spikes and color changes, signaling chemical shifts in the water. These alterations are due to new gases and minerals from rising magma, increased gas and steam emissions from fumaroles or steam vents, further confirm the magma chamber under Yellowstone is highly active and may be nearing a critical point. These geothermal changes led officials to issue several warnings to the public. Using seismometers, GPS stations, and thermal imaging cameras, the USGS and Yellowstone National Park officials have been closely monitoring the situation. Their data suggests a significant increase in the likelihood of an eruption. The decision to evacuate was made after weeks of observation and consultation with emergency management and volcanology experts. The first official warning came when the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, raised the alert level from normal to advisory, indicating potential volcanic instability. The alert was later raised to watch, indicating an eruption could be imminent as seismic and geothermal activity escalates. Evacuating an area as large and popular as Yellowstone requires tremendous effort. The park spans nearly 3,500 square miles across parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Officials had to coordinate with multiple state and local agencies to ensure a smooth evacuation. Residents and visitors were instructed to leave immediately with evacuation routes and shelters ready. Large-scale resource mobilization was necessary for the evacuation. To ensure public safety during the evacuation, park rangers, state troopers, and National Guard members were mobilized. Helicopters were used to survey isolated areas and assist with evacuations, while roadblocks were set up to prevent unauthorized access. As part of the evacuation, at-risk animals were relocated for their safety. Scientists continued their 24-7 monitoring, ready to provide updates and warnings as visitors left the park. This unique situation highlights the threat posed by Yellowstone's supervolcano. Understanding the science behind it explains why these actions are critical. Yellowstone sits atop one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world. Its 45 by 30 mile crater was formed thousands of years ago by massive eruptions. The vast magma chamber beneath the caldera powers Yellowstone's famous geothermal features. The supervolcano's potential for catastrophic eruptions makes it dangerous, as such events can release large amounts of ash and volcanic material, disrupting the climate and causing widespread damage. Although these eruptions are rare, the impact of the last one, around 640,000 years ago, underscores the need for constant monitoring and preparedness. Recent increases in seismic and geothermal activity at Yellowstone suggest more magma movement within the chamber. Rising ground levels, unusual geyser behavior, and changes in hot springs indicate growing pressure beneath the surface. If this pressure continues to build, it could trigger an eruption. The area's increasing seismic activity, along with ground elevation and geothermal changes, is a significant concern. 
Earthquakes are common in volcanic regions. The recent surge in seismic activity indicates that magma is on the move, increasing the chance of an eruption. It's crucial for the USGS and other agencies to closely monitor the volcano to gauge its current state and forecast future activity. Tools like thermal imaging cameras for surface temperature changes, GPS stations for ground shifts, and seismometers for tracking earthquake strength and frequency all help scientists form a detailed view of the volcanic activity and assess eruption risk. The Yellowstone Supervolcano, one of the planet's most powerful features, has the potential to trigger global catastrophes. Understanding its size, location, past eruptions, and caldera formation is critical. A volcanic center qualifies as a supervolcano if it has erupted with a volume over 1,000 cubic kilometers or a magnitude 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VI. These eruptions are 10 times more powerful than typical volcanic eruptions, producing massive ash clouds, widespread lava flows, and other hazards that can severely impact ecosystems and global climate. The vast amount of material released can significantly lower global temperatures and change weather patterns, leading to lasting climate shifts. Situated in Yellowstone National Park, spanning Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, the Yellowstone Caldera is North America's largest volcanic system. Covering about 3,500 square miles, this area is a major physical and ecological landmark in the U.S., drawing millions of tourists annually with its geothermal wonders like Old Faithful. This underscores the delicate balance between the region's natural beauty and the underlying volcanic danger. Yellowstone has seen three major eruptions in the last 2.1 million years, each one profoundly altering the area and its ecosystem. The Huckleberry Ridge eruption, 2.1 million years ago, was the most powerful ejecting about 2,500 cubic km of volcanic debris and forming the vast Huckleberry Ridge Tuff. The ash spread across the western U.S., causing widespread devastation and altering ecosystems and climates. The Mesa Falls eruption, 1.3 million years ago, produced around 280 cubic km of volcanic material, creating the Mesa Falls Tuff and shaping Idaho's Henry's Fort Caldera. Though smaller, it still had a significant impact on local temperatures and landscapes. The most recent, the Lava Creek eruption, occurred 630, 1,000 years ago, ejecting about 1,000 cubic km of material. Ash from this event spread across the central U.S., forming the Lava Creek Tuff and shaping the current Yellowstone caldera. Beneath Yellowstone is a massive magma chamber with two main sections, a deeper, mostly solid layer with molten pockets, and a shallower, partially molten layer. Volcanic activity is triggered by interactions between these layers and external factors. Pressure buildup from rising magma and gas release can crack the overlying rock, leading to an explosive eruption. Tectonic movements may also trigger eruptions by altering stress on the magma chamber. Scientists monitor the Yellowstone supervolcano with seismometers, GPS, thermal imaging, and gas sensors to assess potential threats, from small eruptions affecting nearby areas to large ones impacting the entire world. Even small eruptions can cause local ash falls, disrupting infrastructure and transportation. Larger eruptions could release massive amounts of ash and gas, possibly leading to a volcanic winter, reducing sunlight, lowering global temperatures, damaging agriculture, and causing food shortages. The potential impact of a Yellowstone supereruption emphasizes the importance of ongoing research and monitoring. Scientists are studying the volcano's behavior and developing models to better understand future eruption risks. Although predicting the exact timing of an eruption is impossible, this knowledge helps authorities prepare and protect public safety. Yellowstone's magma chamber, one of the world's largest active chambers, lies 5 to 17 kilometers beneath the surface measuring about 60 kilometers in length, 30 kilometers in width, and up to 10 kilometers in depth. It contains partially molten and solid rock. Recent research using advanced imaging techniques like seismic tomography has given a clearer understanding of this chamber, revealing two interconnected reservoirs, a larger, deeper one with more molten rock and an upper one mainly composed of solid rock with molten pockets.
The magma inside is a complex mix of molten rock, crystals, and dissolved gases. Pressure builds as gases escape from the magma, which could eventually lead to an eruption. Sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and water vapor contribute to this pressure. The buildup of magma in Yellowstone could lead to an eruption, with seismic activity being a key factor. Earthquakes are frequent in the area due to magma movement beneath the surface and tectonic plate shifts. These quakes can create fissures in the crust, allowing magma to rise. As magma ascends, it increases pressure on the rocks above, which can eventually fracture and release magma to the surface. Fresh magma entering the chamber from deeper within the earth can also raise pressure, potentially leading to an eruption. Scientists have outlined various scenarios for a Yellowstone eruption. The least severe would involve localized hydrothermal explosions, where superheated water turns to steam, causing explosive eruptions. These incidents, while damaging, typically affect only small areas. A moderate volcanic eruption could destroy infrastructure, harm ecosystems, and threaten human life within tens of miles of the caldera ejecting large amounts of material and covering vast regions with ash. Within a 100-mile radius, pyroclastic flows would cause widespread devastation.